Well, it's important to study migration in the context of uh, farming systems because majority of the rice farming households are poor with limited lands and, are, and they are entirely dependent on the family members to complete the labor requirements in rice production. And now it is a common knowledge that women contribute significantly in rice production. For example, in Thailand, men and women share equal, they have equal participation in rice production. In India, 60 to 80 percent of the total rice production are contributed by women, particularly female family members. In Northeast Thailand, women contribute more than 50 percent. So women contribute uh, significantly, not only in ensuring food security, but also in managing their uh, the different uh, crop operations. Now, if the, a member of the family migrates, whether it is uh, particularly the male, uh, the husband or the principal male, then we assume that the other members of the family left behind will take over the tasks which were done previously by the other members of the family. So we expect that migration will affect rice productivity because of the decline in uh, labor availability within the family. And we can also expect that remittances can help in easing the cost constraints, particularly during the peak uh, cropping season. So migration is a, a phenomena that is existing or is happening, and we have to anticipate what are the consequences of migration on livelihood, on rice productivity and gender roles.